Hey, what's going on everyone? Big here for Serpent X Tech and I got a quick video for you where we're mining other SHA-256 tokens on the lesser pools or what you would call multi-algo pools and trying to accumulate Bitcoin. And the reason we, we were doing this test is Digibyte was showing up at the top of the most profitable chart for the past five, almost a week, uh, five days to a week. But you can see right now, time of filming is at the very bottom. On average, with two S19K pros, you're making anywhere from $13.50 a day all the way to $10.55 a day. But then after electricity, you're barely profitable or you're negative $1, $2, almost $3 after the cost of electricity. And I wanted to see, because Digibyte was showing at the very top for quite uh, some time of the previous week at time of recording, you know, what does it actually take? And we're using a pool where you can mine multiple assets, right? Other SHA-256 tokens and accumulate. And while I did see a difference that I'm gonna show you here in the data, uh, the only con here is one, if you go to search in mining pool stash dash dream, the top Bitcoin pool, Zerg pool doesn't even show up. Like Zerg pool, I don't even think mines Bitcoin. It mines the other SHA-256 tokens like eCash, Digibyte, so on and so forth. And in Digibyte, you know, Zerg pool is in the top 10, at least uh, number three. Sometimes it fluctuates down to number six. And then when you look at other tokens, uh, for example, eCash, it's in the top 10 at number eight right now. So it does fluctuate. And these tokens become more profitable, the more miners switch over to it, and they accumulate whatever. So you can see here with the two nineteen uh, 19, S19K pros, we've been you know getting Expanse, which is a merge mine coin, Terra coin, which is a merge mine coin, Bitcoin Classic, Digibyte, uh, Black Gold coin, and a bunch more. You can see we're actually hitting blocks pretty good or pretty consistently. Um, and that adds up. The only problem here or the con for many of you that might only have a few devices or not even an ASIC is it's going to take you a very long time to hit that Bitcoin payout. That's why a lot of people don't mine and get paid in Bitcoin on these pools. If anything, what I've done and what I would recommend is a lesser coin like a Litecoin or even just solo mine or direct mine, Digibyte or a, a token of your choice. Because Bitcoin, like I said, is going to take a very long time. You see we're only at 12% of our payout. Uh, and unfortunately, what that means is it's probably going to take weeks to even hit the target payout of uh, Bitcoin on Zerg pool. But still, I got some data for you. What one day of focusing just on, because again, the mining calculator said Digibyte was the number one token at the time for much of that time, focusing just on Digibyte, I still get to merge mine Space Expanse and TerraCoin, but focusing just on Digibyte and those two versus focusing on every available SHA-256 token, right? Cheetah coin, Terra coin, Black Gold coin, Black Bitcoin silver, MVC, eCash, Digibyte, so on and so forth. And when you go and click on the algorithm in Zerg pool, it will list all the tokens that you can mine on here. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. And if we select the algorithm, here are all the coins that are available on this pool. Some of them you can't even mine or you can not You can mine it, but you won't get paid out because they haven't found a block. And so I omitted pure coin, but you can see the profitability over here on the right. For example, Bitcoin Classic profitability all of a sudden shot up. And this changes very, very quickly. Like it might be profitable for the next two hours, but then all of a sudden it goes to nothing and then it switches back to a different token. So these vary, but 1.97 on Bitcoin Classic, Digibyte 0.54, uh, Duish, uh, Emark. 0.51 Bitcoin Cash 0.51 eCash 0.50 Fractal Bitcoin 0.47. So these will fluctuate. Some of them are more consistent, which is what I like, right? That's why I was focusing on Digibyte and a few of the heavy hitters because I want to accumulate as much Bitcoin as quickly as possible, not focusing on some of these coins that might be profitable for a split second, but then not the next. So let's go ahead and look up after the first 24 hours, just Digibyte and uh, the two merged tokens, you can see here that we've earned around $7.31, a lot less than what I should have been making on two S19K pros. I just wanna point that out. The calculator said I should have been making around 13 something together, and I'm only making $7.31, but you gotta take into account, Zerg pool is automating not only when you get a block or a token, but it's also got to exchange or auto exchange that token into Bitcoin. So that eats up a little bit of your profitability. So that's a cash 22, but it's a very good way to anonymously 
mine shit coins and get paid out in the asset you care about. But like I said, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Digibyte, do something else other than Bitcoin. But here it is. So 406977 after 24 hours, focusing just on Digibyte, uh, TerraCoin, and Expanse. Uh, after a little bit over 24 hours, we're basically up to $11.84. So again, it should have been around right around, right around $13, maybe $12 or something. So I'm a dollar under in the 24 hours focusing just on digibyte terracoin space expanse and so on however when i do all tokens and i'm merge mining instead of that seven dollars that we just saw i'm at nine dollars and 51 cents so a little bit better because i'm actually mining whatever the token is that's most profitable at that very second or very time i'm mining that getting a block or two and then getting it auto exchange to get paid out in bitcoin so a little bit better when i use all the tokens instead of just digibyte and then um after 48 hours we're at the total of 2155 okay so 2155 jumping up from 1184 we're, we're basically around uh ten dollars and change almost eleven dollars and some change in a 48 hour time frame but again eating into the profitability because if we go back to hash rate no right now at time of filming we should be making anywhere between ten dollars and 53 cents all the way to uh you know twelve dollars right because uh, Bitcoin Cash is included in there. Bitcoin may not be included. Fractal Bitcoin is definitely included in there. So we're almost on par, but we're losing some of our Bitcoin in cost to auto exchange, wait for the fluctuation. Not only that, but some of these tokens, you got to wait till it matures before you can even get paid out in it. So that's a little bit of a waiting game. It increases uh, the time it takes for you to re reach a payout and it can extend uh, how long it will take you to, you know, obviously reach that payout, but actually get that, get those funds into you. Now, I don't focus on fiat. I focus on the amount of the asset, but I just wanted to share this data with you. Zerg pool is one of my favorite pools to use, but I primarily use it for the other coins that are available. We go to pool or homepage. It's very easy to set up if you're a very new user, whether it's GPU, CPU, whatever. You just come down here on their homepage. You select the region that you're in, Europe, whatever it might be. You can choose the algorithm, right? Kryptonite GPU, um, whatever it might be, who hash, uh, Coda hash. A lot of tokens that aren't going to be very popular with others are still available on this particular pool, and you can mine it, and you can get a bunch of that token if you really wanted to. So this is you know, Fero Pal, or let's choose, for example, something like Kapow. Payout currency, I want to get paid out instead in Litecoin. Target currencies, here are all the Kapow ter you know, currencies or tokens that I can focus on mining, but get paid out in Litecoin, Bitcoin, whatever it might be. The top tokens, I wouldn't say, you know, try to get paid out in some lesser token that just showed up, but you can at least get the top ones. And you can see when I select all of these, what's going to happen is it's going to build me a little uh, sheet that we need to use, right? Our batch file right down here that we can just copy right we put in our wallet name our, our address we put in our worker name test and literally we can just copy and paste this into our windows batch file or what have you and you can see here it's mc equals and then all the target coins that we want to focus on but we want to use c equals to get paid out in litecoin really cool one of my favorite pools i've done videos on this in the past but i just want to share once again the data uh, focusing just on Digibyte and the merge mine tokens versus all SHA-256 supported coins on this on this particular pool um, and the merge mine tokens and the difference. And the difference is basically a dollar and some change. Uh, not two dollars, but maybe like a dollar thirty, dollar forty in fiat terms. But again, primarily focusing on the amount of currency we're, we're getting uh, overall. Not bad. So point one, two, three zeros 11 versus you know uh three zeros two zero six six so not too bad but again it's gonna take me a very long time with just two s19k pros to hit that payout threshold take with this what you want out of the data i just wanted to share it with you let me know what you're doing uh in the comments down below how are you mining what pools are you mining what current coins or currencies you're focusing on and thank you so much for clicking on this video it really means a lot to me i appreciate every single one of you do me a favor on the way out hit that like button get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here and i'll catch you in the next one take care